coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. FAA warns against drone flying in areas of the people visit. A glider takes the first step towards its visit to near space. Girls in Aviation Day is just around the corner. I'm Brie Cross, it's September 24th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Apparently common sense won't do the job, so the FAA is reminding residents and visitors to Washington, D.C., New York, and Philadelphia that these cities and the surrounding communities are no drone zones from September 22nd through September 27th during the papal visit. FAA Administrator Michael Huerta said, quote, anyone flying a drone within the designated restricted areas may be subject to civil and criminal charges, end quote. The FAA has flight restrictions in place in and around Washington, D.C., New York, and Philadelphia. The FAA temporarily has expanded the Washington, D.C. area restrictions for all aircraft, including drones, to include Potomac Airfield, College Park, and Washington Executive Hyde Airports. This is an opportunity for small UAV operators to do the right thing. Let's hope the FAA warning works. The Perlin 2 glider, the world's first engineless aircraft, designed to reach the edge of space, achieved its successful first flight. On Wednesday, in a historic moment about 5,000 feet, above Roberts Field, the Redmond Municipal Airport in Oregon. This was the first test flight of the aircraft, which next year will attempt to set a new world altitude record for any airplane. The goal of this project is to open up a world of new discoveries related to high-altitude flight, climate change, and space exploration. Jim Payne and Morgan Sandercock piloted yesterday's flight, which was the first flight of many for the Airbus Perlin Mission 2 team as it prepares to soar the aircraft to the edge of space in Argentina in 2016. The Perlin 2 is a pressurized sailplane designed to ride air currents that in certain mountainous regions near the North and South Poles can reach into the stratosphere. Next year's flights are expected to reach 90,000 feet, exceeding even the altitudes achieved by the U-2 and the SR-71. After the break, WAI prepares for Girls in Aviation Day. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. As September 26 approaches, women in aviation chapters are putting the finishing touches on their local Girls in Aviation Day events. As WAI's largest youth outreach to date, Girls in Aviation Day will involve girls ages 8 to 18 in aviation activities, tours, speakers, and fun, all designed with the purpose of attracting girls to the variety of aviation careers available to them. WAI President Dr. Peggy Chabrian said in part, quote, Girls in Aviation Day is a way to show girls all the aviation career paths open to them while providing information in a personal, engaging, and relaxed environment, end quote. Because each chapter has its own local aviation venues and resources, WAI chapters around the world will host their own unique event. Girls in Aviation Day activities will take place throughout the United States and in six other countries. Dr. Chabrian added, quote, we hope to send these girls home chock full of ideas and with a passion to pursue aviation as a fantastic career choice. Excitement, technology, travel, respect, what more could you want in a career?" End quote. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, 
highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. We expect hundreds of associations to team up in our Airborne Partnership Initiative and we welcomed our first partners as we started the year 2015. If we go down the list alphabetically, the first organization that comes into view is the Academy of Model Aeronautics, known to all of us as the AMA. The fact that the AMA shows up first is fortuitous because this organization forms the very foundation of all organizations that have since been formed to promote and protect our endeavors in aviation and aerospace. Founded in 1936, the AMA is the official national body for model aviation in the United States. They represent more than 140,000 members that participate in modeling hobbies that range from hand launch gliders to model rocketry to radio controlled aircraft. The AMA sanctions more than 2,000 model competitions throughout the country each year and their promotion of STEM related educational products provides a guiding light for young Americans to see the opportunities provided in aviation and aerospace. While the AMA is known as a model airplane organization, it has recently expanded to the point that it is now a key voice in the issues surrounding the use of small drone aircraft. While the FAA has been unable to come up with UAS regulations, the AMA has been outspoken in its promotion of safe operation of these new recreational remote aircraft. We at ANN are proud to have the AMA be part of the Airborne Partnership Initiative team. After these messages, emergency drone use was rapidly approved. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI-340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Earlier this month, the FAA approved an emergency certificate of waiver or authorization for the use of an unmanned aircraft system to search for a missing woman near Dallas, Texas. In this case, the waiver was issued in less than 24 hours. The airlines continued to collect billions of dollars from numerous service charges to passengers. This causes the American Association of Airport Executives to question their opposition to passenger facility charges. These are the charges that help finance the airport facility. The Society of Aviation and Flight Educators has selected veteran aviation educator Bill Moyle as the organization's second executive director. Moyle succeeds organization co-founder Doug Stewart and officially assumed his safe leadership role on September 17th. According to reports, a German woman and her daughter, who have been deported from Israel, have lived at the Larnaca Airport in Cyprus for 15 months. Airport officials apparently knew about the two women and have been trying to resolve the situation. Three men wearing large backpacks were seen climbing the Eiffel Tower Sunday morning, prompting the tourist attraction to be shut down for several hours. It's assumed they were base jumpers that got away before they could be apprehended. Rumor has it that Inspector Clouseau is investigating. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Axel is a heroic service dog that saved the life of one of our nation's brave warriors, but he was denied permission to accompany Captain Jason Haig as they were about to board the airplane for home. Axel had also just been named Service Dog of the Year 
at the American Humane Association Hero Dog Awards during a nationally televised event. Captain Haig suffers from post-traumatic distress syndrome, and the German Shepherd is his constant companion. Day in and out, Axel is by his side, ensuring that he is in a constant state of peace and not fear. Axel was denied entry on the American Airlines flight despite following the air carrier's own requirements. It's reported that at the time of boarding, however, an American Airlines representative began to ask additional questions, including questions about his disability and demanding additional documentation. American Airlines has since issued an apology, and the American Humane Association is calling on them and all airlines to better train their staff. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.